Okay, so here's a quick video on a leak. If your tub leaks, basically what happens is either you move it and you joggle the basket around or you hear this clunk when it stops. And when it stops, it twists this way or it twists one way. And what will happen is these little things that stick out here will grab and then crack the tub. Basically, if you hear a clunk when your machine stops, then you need to lube the brake and I've um, I've uh, shown videos on how to lose a brake. Now this one here, I tried to patch from the outside. You can see there's some E6000 dupes here. Did not work very well. So what I'll have to do is I'll have to take this whole thing apart and I'm going to try and patch it from the inside. And here's a little disclaimer for you. This video is for informational purposes. You can sell you a local professional if in doubt. Okay, so this one, you have to take the agitator off, of course. This one had a pretty rusty bolt that held the agitator on. And luckily it wasn't too tight. And so basically what we're going to have to do is we're going to take, take this bolt out, take the tub out, get to the bottom of the tub, and then uh, clean it up and E6000 it. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a wrench and a hammer and pull that off basically put the wrench here and the hammer on that that's the way I usually get them off there's a tool for this but I don't usually use okay, it so this one wasn't on there too tight and we can see the crack right here clean this up real good E6000 over it okay you can see we have access to the tub and the barrel you do any needed cleaning here if you want to clean you can scrub 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 your lives away and so whoop. there's a possibility you may have leaks here as well or up here i haven't seen these leaks lately usually i just see that tub crack i see that tub crack because you have a stuck brake basically when the machine stops it clunks and it abruptly stops and then what it does is this one here i cut off you can see that one's full square this one i cut off because what it does it'll bump up against this thing when it stops and then cause that to crack so we're going to clean this up I may take a torch and heat it up a little bit make sure it's nice and dry and go from there okay so here's the E6000 alternative might be automotive goop but I use the E6000 the E6000 is a little bit better put some around this seal here and then down there I may put another coat on, but that should do it.